Hello and welcome to RTC TV Channel 4. My name is Jared Michael and we are in Manchester getting ready for an exciting evening of high school wrestling. It is December 8th and tonight's matchup is between the Manchester Squires and the Tippecanoe Valley Vikings. Starting off tonight will be at 106 pounds for the Vikings, Haley Hoover. For the Squires, Michael Wiersing. Both sophomores. As they're getting ready for the night. Hi, hey, welcome everybody tonight to senior night uh, as our Manchester Squires take on the Valley Vikings. Uh, hey, I just want to give a shout out to the jungle. We have a special jungle appearance over here by the student section. Thanks guys for coming out. There's Manchester giving a shout out to their own oh. cheer block there. Now, Hoover had her first win last Saturday at the Manchester, or the McConaughey Tourney. As they square off, Hoover hesitant, pulling back. Manchester with the hip toss. Headlock locked in, does not look good for Hoover early on in the match. Pinned in 13 seconds. Six points go to the Manchester Squires. Worsened by Pinn. Next will be the 113 pound weight class for Manchester. Tice Rooney, freshman, wrestling for the Vikings is Jacob Ehrman, also a freshman. If you may have heard there, he's the Wabash County champion. Constantly going in for shots, being the aggressive factor. Airman getting the takedown right off the go. Airman looking for the cradle, gets it locked up. Trying to get this match put away early, not giving it up. Gets two point near fall. Manchester constantly reaching back. All Airman needs to do when Manchester reaches back like that is throw in a half Nelson, and this could be over quite quickly. The ref will call that out of bounds, and they will reset the center. Airman will have control. He was in control when they went out of bounds. Manchester again reaching back for that head, getting a good long sit on Airman. Running an underhook, gets the reversal. Airman in bad position. Can he bridge up and roll? And it looks like the Valley's been going to have a pin there. Manchester gets another. Six point pin. Right now, current team score is 12 for the Squires, zero for the Vikings. Manchester having quite the setup here for tonight. 
Devin Bandow doing a good job so far this year. This is his first year wrestling. Junior versus senior Squire. Both first year wrestlers. Bandow going in for the shot. Keeping him in bounds and getting the takedown. Quick mat return. Ref will call locked hands on Bandow. Manchester has a chance for a free point. Ref will finally call it. That'll be one point awarded to Manchester. Current match score, two to one. Valley in the lead. This is turning out to be a high field, high octane match so far. Very fast, lots of movement. Bandow keeping him down on the ground, getting two point near fall awarded. Running an underhook. Underhook and half Nelson rolled in. Valley's team cheering for the pin. And that'll be Valley's first team's points. Band out with the pin, first period. Right now, current team score, 12 Squires, six Vikings. Next will be the 126 pound weight class, which the Vikings do not have. The Vikings will have to give up four forfeits tonight and automatic 24 team points awarded to the Squires. That's the first one of the night. Last three will come in the heavyweights. Vikings only have nine on their team at the time. Wrestling at 132. I'm sorry, the Vikings will have five forfeits. A wrestler for the Vikings weighing in at 126, recently quit due to stress on his life, a little too hard on him, had finals coming up and such, so that'll be another team point awarded. Braden Fortner, sophomore, facing off against Jordan Owens, also sophomore. As they prepare, Braden right now being the aggressive factor. Owens first year wrestling. Doing okay so far. Manchester going in for the shot. Owens constantly backing up. If he keeps at it, the ref may call him for stalling. Manchester gets the leg, is pulling it in. Owens will have to flip to his belly. And that will be two points awarded to the Squires. Out of bounds, Owens seems slightly confused. Manchester being fast off the whistle, counteracting Owens' upward momentum.
running that wrist and wing. Owen's not encountered a situation like this before. Coach is motioning for him to sit out. Looks like Manchester is going to turn him over. And Owen's able to reverse it. Manchester will get a two point near fall. And Val will just get the two point reversal right there. Current match score, four Squires, two Vikings. That'll be the end of the first period. Manchester awarding another two near fall points at the end there. Current match score, eight for the Squires, two for the Vikings. Valley's choice, Manchester did defer. Vikings will choose down. Braden Fortner right now dominating this match against Owens. and struggling to have movement. Manchester Fortner keeping that tight waist across Owens. That can be very physically draining as the match wears on. 110 left to go in the second period. Fortner trying to get in good position to turn Owens over. And they're dangerously close. That'll be out of bounds. trying to move forward to escape. Trying a long sit into a stand up. Is successful standing up, unable to break away. Giving Manchester the half Nelson. Owens bridging for life and limb. Manchester's cheer block going wild. Ten seconds left, and that will be the pin. Right now, current team score is 30 Manchester, 6 Tipkinu Valley. For the Vikings, Chevy Teeter versus Colin Megerson, senior versus sophomore. Teeter, one of the Vikings' more experienced wrestlers. It is senior night here at the Squires' home advantage. Hometown crowd cheering for Megerson. Gets the takedown. Riding legs. Teeter has a history of liking to ride legs. You got to wonder how that's going to work. Double leg leg in. 
Megasin in bad position over top of hips. Teeter needs to get to his base and mule kick in order to get Megasin off. Trying to run a wrist and half in order to flip Teeter over onto his back. Teeter will scramble out of bounds. 45 seconds left to go in the first period. Current match score, two to two. Megason continuing with that leg ride. Teeter struggling. They're going to award that three point near fall. And that'll be the end of the first period. Current match score five for the Squires, two for the Vikings. Manchester on their feet for Megason. Getting the escape. The ref will just call that a reversal. He did not break contact. Teeter trying to work back to a base. Megason running the half. Breaking off to the side, not quite getting it fast enough in order to roll Teeter. Working on the other side, so close to the edge. Teeter off the edge. Ref will call that out of bounds. Right now, current match score, seven to nothing. Megason in the lead over Teeter. Teeter trying to sit out, Megason throwing in the legs. Yet again, one minute left to go in the second period. Teeter peeling the hands off. Manchester's cheer block shouting out Colin, Colin, Colin. In constant position to roll Teeter over. Teeter keeps fighting off. They're going to call stalling. Stalling warning on Teeter. There's the roll. Ten seconds left to go in the second period. Megason will get the pin. It's another six points for the Squires. Current team score, 36 to six. Squires in the lead. Wade France, junior John Humes, sophomore. First year wrestler John Humes. First varsity match last Saturday at the McConaughey Tourney. Right now, the person over top of him, Dylan Warner, senior, does have a concussion. So he will be out for an undetermined amount of time. Humes close to getting the takedown there, not quite recovering fast enough. Thank <laughs> you. 
Manchester finally getting a hold of a leg. And that will be the first point scored. 102 left to go in the first period. Humes getting up, getting the escape. Some fast movement, something we haven't seen out of him so far this year. Now, if you remember from last Saturday, a memorable moment at the McConaughey Tourney, Humes' opponent punched him in the face, getting an instant disqualification. Humes pulling McCon Manchester on top of him. He's going to call, the ref will call that out of bounds. 24 seconds left to go in the first period. And that'll be the end of the first. Manchester will defer their choice. Humes will choose down. Manchester trying to run that half. Very hard to run while the opponent still has their base. Hume standing up and gets the escape. That's what he was looking for there, choosing down. Ties it up, two to two. Goes in for the shot, far away and slow. Manchester's gonna catch that easily. And it looks like this could be the end. 114 left to go. Hume's bridging hard. Manchester will get the pin. Now we have the 160 pound weight class. They said more dynasty. That's because there is three mores here on the team. All proficient wrestlers. Ref will call that out of bounds. Randall, junior team captain for the Vikings. Devin Moore, sophomore. Randall went undefeated at the McConaughey attorney yesterday, trying to keep right now his win streak alive. Manchester will get the takedown there. Two points awarded. The Vikings will be in the defensive position. More in the offensive position. Isaac Randall trying to get away. Moore throwing the legs in, as was the 145-pound wrestler, Colin Megason. Trying to roll the half through. Randall staying tough on his back.
Randall will get the reversal there. 15 seconds left to go in the first period. Morg standing up and gets the escape. Three seconds left to go. Going into the second period. Discussion. As to whose choice it was, Vikings will defer. Manchester will choose down. Right now, match score, three to two. Squires in the lead. Randall having a hard time against Moore in the offensive position. Randall will get the mat return. And Moore will finally get the escape. No takedown awarded yet. They're going to call that out of bounds. And that'll be out of bounds yet again. Moore going in for a quick shot. Gets the takedown. 40 seconds left to go in the second period. Match score, six more to Randall. Moore catching Randall in the half. Eight seconds left to go. Randall bridging, three seconds, and that'll be the pin. Two seconds left to go in the second period. That'll be another pin for the Squires. Current team score, 48 to six. Manchester in the lead. Looks like the Vikings will forfeit. Wrestling at 182 for the Vikings is Joseph Irons.
Irons coming off of an undefeated day at McConaughey Tourney. Kegel getting the takedown. Irons getting the escape. Seventeen seconds left to go in the first period. That'll be the end of the first period. Right now, match score four to one. Vikings will defer. Manchester chooses neutral again. Getting that front headlock. Manchester will break irons down. Now all he has to do is circle around. Kegel gets the takedown. Locking up the cradle. All Kegel has to do is roll it over. Irons historically not doing a good job with the cradle. Loses control right at the last second. Forty-eight seconds left to go in the second period. Vikings have not made it out of the second period against Manchester. Kegel sophomore running a very efficient takedown technique. Getting the cow catcher yet again. Another two points awarded. Irons in bad position. Needing to bridge, nine seconds left to go. And Irons will make it out of the second period. Three point near fall awarded. Current match score 11 to 2. Kago in the lead over Irons. Irons chooses the defensive position. Kago will give him the automatic escape.
trying to snap down Irons. Match score, 13 to three. Cagle needs to put Irons away here, and that'll be the pin. Last chance for the Vikings to score. Tyler Manizak, senior will be wrestling at 195 pounds. The last more wrestling. Freshman. <laughs> Freshman versus senior. Manny Zek gets the takedown. Trying to roll in the cradle. Cinching more slowly. And he'll transition. And he's like still going for that cradle. You gotta wonder if he's gonna use up too much energy here early on in this match. Manchester's cheer block cheering for Ashton Moore. Man, he's like running that power half. 56 seconds left to go in this first. And Moore's just not having it. Continuing to fight off those hands. Manny Zach letting more up. He needs a quick takedown. 30 seconds left to go in this match. In this first period. Goes in for the shot. Lifts it up and gets the takedown. Moore bridging up. Manchester rolling in the headlock. Needs, and that'll be the pin. Six points awarded to the Vikings at 95. Now Juan Ramirez at 220 will get a forfeit. And also for Manchester getting a forfeit at 285 will be Kevin McIntyre. Final team score will be 72 to 12. Manchester over the Vikings. Here comes Kevin McIntyre.
Vikings talking as Manchester lines up. Handshake going. Key wrestler for the Vikings would be Devin Bandow getting a quick but hard victory over his opponent, Braxton Wilson. Secondary key Viking would be Tyler Manuzak getting a victory over the youngest Moore of that family. For the Squires would be Delton Moore, sophomore, wrestling against Isaac Randall and getting that pin, as well as Connor Meganson getting the pin. Thanks for watching Tippecanoe Valley Wrestling on RTC TV and check out www.rtc4.com for more videos.